So I previously did a video about, um, I used the hypervalue electrode to talk about, um, use the screen printed electrodes in amperometric um, sensors. Um, I just want to use the hypervalue um, screen printed electrode to talk about um, screen printed electrodes in voltammetric, or sorry, potentiometric um, sensors. So what I'll do is I'll just um, change um, to this. So when we do a um, potentiometric uh, measurement, we take the screen printed electrodes, and maybe we functionalize the working electrode to be ion sensitive, and then the, um, the voltage here, or the potential here, is equal to a constant, um, and then a series of other constants times the concentration of, or the, the log of the concentration of the allied of interest. So for a constant concentration, the signal is fairly um, constant. Now it's important to contrast this with the um, with the um, amperometric sensor, because in the amperometric sensor, the the sensor has uh, the electrode has a really it does play a key role in it because you can see here that the area um, is part of the signal that the sort of current or the signal is proportional to the concentrations of the analytes of interest times an area. So the area, so the when you're doing amperometric sensors, it's quite um, explicit that the area of the electrode or the screen printing quality um, actually appears in the actual signal. Now that's not so apparent in the ampermet sorry, in the potentiometric sensor because there's a constant and there's a Rydberg constant temperature, um, Z, uh, Faraday's constant. There's no physical parameters of the um, electrode. But actually, there is, there is, there is a subtlety. It's this, it's this potential here that we find that this offset here, or the standard potential, is really kind of a sensitive parameter. So it's very hard to make a potentiometric sensor where you don't have to do at least a single point calibration so that you can understand this offset. Um, now, this offset is not just the, um, is not or the cell constant here, this offset here. It's not just a function of the screen printed electrode, it's also a function of the sample, but it's quite a sensitive variability, a variable. So I wouldn't, you know, what I would say is, um, that variability here is not explicit to screen printing electrodes. It's just quite a sensitive parameter um, in general, even if we were using other fabrication techniques. So um, what I would say is this, that when you're doing uh, amperometric measurements, then the area is quite, um, of, the, of the electrode is quite clearly in the equation, but it's much more subtle when you're doing potentiometric sensors um, but it, I, I think it's some, it somewhat influences this, this number here, but, um, the, I think there's at least two things that influence that number there, the electrode surface and the electrolyte or the solution that you're trying to test. And it's quite a sensitive little parameter. So, um, quite hard to deal with. So, um, that was just some kind of comments about using, um, screen printed electrodes for potentiometric sensing. If you want to make a really good progress using screen printed electrodes for potentiometric measurements, then you probably have to do a single point calibration um, so you can at least know what that offset value is. Okay, any questions, contact us at Zimmer and Peacock. All right, thanks very much.